Okay, we're back. What's up, people? I really... I'm just going to come out and start off and saying it. Like, I, I, I don't have any expectations for this podcast, and I really hope none of you do either. This is going to be me talking about complete bullshit, stuff that happens in my life, and hopefully some funny shit here and there. So if you don't like it, I really don't fucking care. I, I really don't care if it doesn't fit you. Like, I, I don't care if you listen or not. This is strictly for me to to use up some of my free time. Okay, with that being said, it's fucking Cinco de Mayo, people. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, I, for one, don't really celebrate Cinco de Mayo, even though when I get asked, I get asked all the time, are you Mexican? Are you Latino? Although it's it stopped a lot. When I was a kid, I was fat and chubby, like, like fat and chubby, like round. And when I first started hitting puberty and first started growing my mustache, it was really pencily and really, ugh, it was bad. So that's what it, it always used to be. That was used to be the thing. I, people would always call me Mexican. And then I had this other kid at school. His name's Shay. I, me and him are always the Mexicans. But uh, Shay was cooler than me, so people are always mean, mean to me about it. So, But no, I don't really celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Um but I think later day I'm about to go get some margaritas just because I'm old and want to drink on a Sunday. So why not, right? No, but nowadays I get I get um, I do get Mexican or Latino a little bit here and there, Spanish, whatever, however you want to say it. I don't really want to get racist here, but I look Spanish to some people. But I, I get Italian a lot too, which blows my mind. I'm cool with Italian though. I look Ital- Italiano, I guess. Fuck it. Fuck it, order me some pasta. I'm from Italy. I bet y'all really can't even guess what I really am, though. My mom's side is from Czechoslovakia, and my dad's... I think that I, I, I think my dad was Latino. My dad's side. Dude, why don't I know that? Why don't I fucking know that? I really don't know that. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some 22 and Me shit. Some uh, Ancestry.com shit. No. But it kind of makes me mad, bro. A lot of people find excuses just to get... They'll use like Cinco de Mayo as an excuse just to get fucking obliterated and get just fucked up. I know a lot of people that do that. There's a lot of people that just find an excuse just to get drunk. Any little thing. Any little accomplishment. Like, fuck it, let's get drunk. Nah, not me. I'm at the age, bro, where if I drink, like, actually, just this last week, me and my roommate and a friend drank for, like, three or four days straight, like, just a bender, like, started in the, not in the morning, but we drank a lot for those three days. And, yeah, that hangover fucking sucks, bro. That's a long hangover and it hits you harder and it hits you faster and it's harder to get away. So like after that, dude, yeah, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that. So I, I learned my lesson real quick. I'm 20. I, I turned fucking 23 years old this year. That's going to surprise some people. I think, I think, I think some people thought maybe I was younger. Maybe I was older. I don't know. But I turned 23. That makes me feel fucking old. Fuck. Yeah. What else is new? What else is new? Uh, I don't. You guys really can't tell. I almost got. I almost got a fucking tooth knocked out of my mouth this last week. Playing pickup basketball, people. I was playing pickup fucking basketball and almost got a tooth knocked out. Had an emergency dentist appointment. And everything. Back to wearing my retainer like I just got my fucking braces taken off in high school. Like, uh, uh, oh, dude, I was so mad. And anyone that knows me, there's two things that I, that I literally can't have fucked up. My hair and my teeth. And my teeth got fucked up. So, no, yeah. I got Some dude grabbed a rebound, was clearing space, popped his elbow back. Nothing illegal, but just was clearing space. Popped me right in my left, in my right tooth. Popped it right back. If I didn't have my permanent retainer, I bet you that bitch was gone. 
gone. Nah, but the bone of his elbow literally popped it right back. Almost fell out. Dude, I was so mad. I was instantly so mad. Not even at the dude, just at myself for literally putting myself in that situation to get hurt. At pickup basketball. Oh. And like, I'm not rich by any means, bro. Like, so like a a dental bill like that, like that shit's gonna put it, like that shit is not cool. That shit sucks. That shit ruined my whole week. Fucked up my hand at work. Fucked up my knee playing basketball three weeks ago, dude. Like, nah, bro. That shit's got to stop. So lo- so I've just been running. Just been running my three miles a day. That's it. <laughs> Fuck all the... I- That's another thing. If anyone knows me, everyone knows I don't lift. Like, I go to the gym and I'll do abs and I'll run. That's it. Like, Sorry. I'm going to get clowned for that hard, but I really don't give a fuck. I'm going to get clowned for that so hard. <laughs> I'll beat you on the distance race, though. I can literally, bro, as I say that, I can picture people just roasting me for that. But I'll beat you on long distance race. God, that's funny. That's funny as shit. <laughs> I get intimidated at the gym, bro. I'm I'm at the point where I don't get intimidated just because I've been going to this gym for so long. I know I think I I know a lot of people there, but uh, nah, bro, I can't I can't lift in front of a lot of people, and I know I have friends like that too that are absolutely jacked and still can't lift in front of people. Well, I'm a fucking twig, and yeah, uh, you're not gonna catch me lifting in front of anyone. You're not gonna catch me lifting, period. But if I did lift, but I want to get into it, bro. Like I, I feel like I need to get bigger. I do need to get bigger. I go to the gym literally every day and either play basketball, run, abs. I do run and I run in abs every day, but yeah, dude, that, that's got to change. And talking about that, that's got to change. But I say that and then I'm going to get to the gym. I'm going to do the same shit, but it's all right. Another thing I believe in, bro, is the sauna. I sit in the sauna every day, twice a day. The sauna... I think saves my life. I I I, be, I truthfully believe you can sweat anything out. Like when you're sick, anything feeling if you're feeling down on yourself, bro, go sit in the sauna. That shit is wild. Like whenever my anxiety pops up or I just start feeling down, dude, sauna trip. I don't know what it is. I put on a podcast or put on some music and sit in the sauna. That shit is fucking peaceful. God. That's why I don't get I don't know why it does that. I listen to a lot of Joe Rogan and he ta- they always talk he was he, he he believes in saunas too. He he sits in saunas, but he does infrared, which I I'm not rich enough to have my own sauna in my fucking two bedroom, two bath apartment, but no, nah, I, I I drive to the gym and definitely sit in the sauna twice a day. I have to. That's another thing, man. I got scratch on my face at the gym the other day too. Ah, imperfections. Imperfections make perfections. I pulled that out of my ass. Straight out of my ass. Um, everyone, like I said, I turned 23 this year. Um, all my uh, friends I grew up with are graduating college now. So that's kind of fucking crazy. Makes me feel even older. Makes me feel like, uh, like I'm not doing anything with my life. <laughs> Um, yeah, college wasn't for me, so I, I dropped out of that shit. I went to like, I went to two and a half years of college and then dropped out. How crazy is that? Put myself into debt and was like, eh, fuck it. Not for me. That's crazy. That's wild to me. Dude, how do I go to two and a half years of college and not finish, bro? Taylor, what are you doing? Damn. But anyway, yeah, so I, college wasn't for me, so I dropped out. But so it, it, it kind of hits me harder when my friends are graduating. And I'm sitting here like, whoa. Because it, it made me realize I've been working for almost two full years full-time job. So good for me, good for them, good for everyone. Bro, that's call, another thing that pisses me off, bro. I grew up, my parents never forced college on me, but I grew up thinking I needed to go to college. And I, I regret that so much. 
And I think that's one of the biggest things that like our gener that our generation was kind of misinformed about was you don't college is not needed, dude. Oh, I wish I would have known that, bro, because I'm literally put myself in a debt for fucking college that I didn't even use or not going to use. Maybe someday. Maybe not. Probably not. But yeah, college is definitely not for everyone, dude. And if you if there's any any young people watching this out here or listening to this, don't go to college if uh, you're not ready or you don't know what you what you want to do. It's definitely not worth it. Don't throw that money into it. Unless your mom and dad are going to pay for college, dude. That's another thing. That's dope. If your mom and dad are going to pay for college, I would say go no matter what. Cuz uh, I didn't know a lot of people not I don't know I didn't know a lot of people like that growing up, but I knew a couple. And dude, take that opportunity. Damn. No, but it just makes me feel old when this weekend I see people Everyone's having their graduation parties from college. And I remember, it, I feel like yesterday we were having graduation parties from high school. And now I'm t almost 23 going to these graduation parties. Like, yo, you're starting your whole life. Some of these people are getting married. Everyone's getting married, dude. People are real life getting married. Wild shit. Wild shit. What else is new? What else is new? Babies. People are having babies like it's nothing. Which, like, if you're ready to have a baby, more power to you. But, like, in my mind, thinking of myself with a kid is like, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I could, I don't, I don't know. I, could, I can't have that responsibility. I'm not ready for it. My roommate has a kid, and he does really good with her. And it's dope. It's dope being around a little baby like twice a week. I, I, I low-key don't mind that. And she just now started warming up to me. She just now is saying hi to me, giving me knuckles. Like it took all of a year for her to get used to me. And she's only like a year and a half. So she's a young one. But nah. My roommate does great with her. And she's a cutie. But I definitely couldn't take care of a baby. So props to my roommate and props to everyone with a kid out there. I know a lot of people with kids. But I couldn't do it. Could not do it. I could. Bro. Yeah, no. I want to get a cat. But then I think about it and I don't like cats. So I'm not going to get a cat. But a cat you just don't really have to. You just kind of just leave around. <laughs> cats, bro. Cats or dogs? Are you a cat or dog person? I saw something on Twitter the other day and someone tweeted, um, can you be both a cat and dog person? And in my head, I'm like, I don't think so. I really don't think so. But, you know, whatever. You, you win some, you lose some. Um. Oh, dude, another thing I saw on Twitter just today, right when I woke up, I was scrolling through. And... Um, it was a video of this circus, this guy performing with a snake at a circus. And this guy fucking has this big ass boa constrictor and he picks him off the, off the ground and like whips this boa constrictor, constrictor, sorry, around his neck, like a fucking scarf. Like they're in the middle of winter and he's throwing this bitch around his neck like a scarf. I'm like, damn, all right. And I, I know you already know and I, we already know how this is gonna end, so. He throws it around there and he's, he, he looks at the crowd with like, uh, oh, look at me, like, I did it. And instantly after he puts his, after he's kind of sh cocking off a little bit, he puts his hand down, starts walking away, instantly drops, bro. Like instantly fucking drops. Starts convulging, starts shaking. And um, that boa constrictor just tightened his grip right away. And um, these people didn't, Dude, this dude was sitting here with this neck with this snake around his neck like I would say a whole 10 15 eh, 10 seconds before someone before medics or anyone came up came over and started ripping this snake off dude and like I said I don't I the video didn't catch the ending I don't know if the dude's made it or if he's yeah I don't know but I've read that those snakes came literally with one 
like once it fucking constricts it can easily break a human neck so like that's not good bro why would you be perf but at the same time why are you performing with a snake like that like a boa constrictor is supposed to constrict. Like, what'd you expect when you threw that thing around your neck? I don't know. Nature's scary, bro. That's why I don't fuck with the circus. That's why I don't fuck with zoos. Like, let 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 the animals uh let the animals do their thing. God. But hey, I did 16 minutes. This is my first ever podcast, people. It's, I don't even know if this is a podcast. Vlog? No, it's a podcast. Video podcast. But yeah. I really... Let me know what y'all think. I think that's all. My name's Taylor. Peace.